Junkyard Dog is a brutal tow truck with a knack for saving his teammates. He specializes in medium to high armor, moderate speeds, and the most team-focused special in the game. He's often regarded as slow, but has strong ramming power. While the latter is true, his speed is mistakenly underrated. Here, we have a speed test against Rowboat on Diablo Pass. Starting at the same time, we use our turbo boost the entire length of the bridge. We start at the same acceleration, but Junkyard Dog takes the lead with a higher max speed. His primary special is Taxi Toss, which is a homing taxi that deals 35 damage to a single enemy. After pressing R2, Junkyard Dog latches a yellow taxi to his bumper. Pressing R2 again throws the taxi in front of himself. The homing capability with this special is strong, however it has a large dead zone if you're not directly looking toward the enemy car you want to attack. It's a great special to use when you want to unload everything you have to deal the most damage possible. His alternate special, however, is what makes Junkyard Dog truly unique. He readies a taxi in the same way, only instead, it's a teal taxi that works like a remote bomb that heals nearby friendly targets. To use it, press R2 to ready the taxi and press R2 again when you want to throw it in front of you. If you look at the minimap, you can see a teal taxi icon whenever a dropped health taxi is waiting to be detonated. This shows up for both you and your teammates. It heals for roughly 30% of the target's total health when detonated quickly, and roughly 60% if the thrown taxi stays idle on the ground for more than 5 seconds. The radius on the green heal wave is exceptionally large and can heal as many teammates as there are in the blast radius. Here's a few things to keep in mind when using your taxi heal. The wave from the heal cascades down and upward onto or through structures. In other words, this means you can heal teammates on a different elevation as the taxi or even through walls. Notice here that I'm detonating the taxi in the air, but the heal radius is still staying at ground level. Regardless of how high up you detonate the taxi, the heal wave starts at the closest object directly below the taxi. You'll want to be as careful as possible when driving around with a health taxi behind yourself, as it can be destroyed with a solid ram from an enemy. This can apply to both the damaging and healing taxis. Fortunately, an idle taxi can't be destroyed by missiles or ramming, except for when it's still attached to your bumper. Sometimes, you'll run into an issue where you get a message that says you healed a teammate, when in actuality your heal wave hit an enemy vehicle. Fortunately, this is only a display message bug, and your health taxis don't actually heal enemy vehicles. Mastering his heals should be your first step in learning this match-saving vehicle. Now, I'll show you a few clips of what it looks like to use Junkyard Dog's heal in online matches. Since Junkyard Dog has a fast recharge time on his special, you can sometimes get 4 heals off in one skirmish. I notice a friendly Junkyard Dog very low on health, so I toss him 2 quick heals to survive the enemy's attack. As the battle goes on, we assist onto Crimson Fury for a quick kill. I toss a couple more taxi heals to give our team the upper hand and begin to focus on one car at a time. I start to notice I'm getting targeted by a sniper, so I try to interrupt him with napalms. Since he's still targeting me, I make him lose line of sight to let my team finish him off. 
I see several teammates up ahead and ready a health taxi. I aim for Warthog but still need to heal Reaper. As I try to catch up, Death Warrant begins to attack him. Knowing Reaper is frail, I freeze Death Warrant and line up a Turbo Ram and allow Reaper to get the kill. A team fight begins to break out and I ready my health taxi. I see Meat Wagon has the lowest health and focus my heals on him. Since the first heal didn't get him to full, I continue to throw more at him, knowing the range on the heal will hit others nearby. Even though I can't quite see where my last taxi went, I can still use the camera on the top right to know when to detonate. Seeing Roadkill make an aggressive push, I toss him a quick heal and start to head to the health semi. I fly into a low health dark side and ready a freeze turbo ram combo to ensure a kill. I notice an enemy being chased and join my teammate to get the kill before the round ends. He easily defeats him and I toss one last heal for another teammate. I make my way across the map toward a vermin launching rat rockets. I take a good amount of damage but continue forward to ready a turbo ram since he's standing still. I follow up with missiles and another ram and start to get nervous as I see four enemies and only one teammate. I turbo dash to catch up to Meat Wagon and finish him with a taxi. After grabbing some health, I jump down to get into a team fight. I spot a low health Reaper being harassed by Roadboat and throw a quick heal and start to position myself in front of Roadboat in order to disrupt his damage. Due to his mega guns and missiles, I almost die, getting to safety before the round ends. As a few enemies start to chase me, I ready my health taxis since I have three of them but almost no weapons. This particular area has heavy traffic from both teams, so before I go looking for weapons, I toss out all of my health taxis to anyone in need. After I'm depleted of specials, I start to seek out weapons to let my taxis regenerate. Sometimes jumping can increase the accuracy of certain missiles. I shoot homing and fire missiles while jumping at Death Warrant to give my missiles a little elevation in case the health semi gets in the way. After ramming him, Meat Wagon assists me with his gurney bomb, making Death Warrant an easy target for a stalker missile kill. As I see Sweet Tooth fall in the water, I get ready to toss him a heal when he comes back. After he notices his health, he joins me in tag team rowboat for a kill. And just for good measure, I wait for my special to regenerate to toss one last heal to send him on his way for more destruction. Even when you're low on weapons, you can still use energy abilities and turbo ram to finish off enemies. I open with a freeze to ensure I hit with turbo ram, but don't do enough damage to kill outlaw. As I refocus, I finish him with a taxi toss. I start to look for more weapons and fire missiles backwards as a teammate comes to help. I send a heal his way and continue to go back and forth and attempt to line up a turbo ram without relying on a freeze. To avoid giving the enemy a kill, I retreat to stock up on weapons. Into the match, I get frozen by a reaper readying his chainsaw. As I shake out, I do a quick turbo ram for 65 damage and turn around to start firing missiles. He tries to line up a sniper shot but gets killed by a medium shotgun blast. In the middle of Metro Square, I get attacked by Darkseid and Death Warrant. I try to make a getaway as Roadboat takes Death Warrant's spot and begins to give Darkseid a clear shot by using his magnet. I quickly escape to run into none other than Andy French playing Reaper. I spin around quickly to toss a heal in order to keep Reaper in a fight with me. We begin to pick on Roadboat since he has less armor. Darkseid hits me with his special as Reaper begins his next flaming chainsaw. I hit Darkseid with a ricochet to slow him down and ready a health taxi to keep Reaper alive. Another flaming chainsaw from Reaper sends Darkseid back to the respawn screen. 
As we start to move on, Rowboat returns, only to meet his demise again from Reaper's massive damage. I notice Reaper is still missing health, so I wait for him to pass me to give the signal that I have one last heal for him. 